Hi everybody, this is uh, my Asus RP AX58, which is a dedicated AI mesh or Wi-Fi extender node. And as such, it doesn't have the rich uh, web GUI interface that the main Asus routers have. So this is my um, Asus router. It's, a, it's an RTAX88U. So this has got quite a rich interface. One of those uh, under the tools menu is to see the temperatures of the core CPU and the Wi-Fi 2.4 and 5 gigahertz chip. You can't see that uh, on the Wi-Fi uh, node. Uh, so if I just go into the AI mesh, all you get really is a few system settings, uh, the IP address, uh, network uh, status, and a few simple management settings. But I'd quite like to know the main CPU temperature and the Wi-Fi 2.4 gig and 5 gig temperatures. So I found out that you can do that uh, using a command line interface uh, through SSH. Uh, so if you haven't seen my video that I did a few days ago, how to SSH into the RPAX58 node, check that out. I'll leave a link in the description. Uh, so look, if we just go ahead here and open up the command line interface and log into that node. So as we did yesterday, uh, just SSH and then uh, the username on your normal router login at the uh, IP address of the Wi-Fi node. And then enter in the password uh, for, the, for your Wi-Fi router. So I'll just go and do that. Now, once you're in, uh, there's a couple of commands that you can enter to return the temperatures of the various chips. What I've done is I've put them into this notepad here. So I'm going to try and leave these in the comments uh, to the uh, video, but sometimes YouTube doesn't allow certain symbols. So if you need to, just pause this and then type that out. But I will try and leave it in the video. So first one, let's have a look at the temperature of the main CPU. So that's this line here. So if I just copy that, head over uh, to the SSH interface and then just paste that in and press enter, you can see here that's returned the temperature as 51 degrees. So that's quite low. Uh, and then if you want to look at the Wi-Fi chips, it's a bit... Um, there's a couple of steps to that. So you first need to find out uh, the Ethernet adapter for each of the uh, Wi-Fi chips, the 2.4 and the 5. So to get the Ethernet adapter um, number for the 2.4 gig Wi-Fi, so we can just enter this command and make a note of what it returns. So the 2.4 is ETH1. And then going back, so what you would then need to do is take this code and you want to replace the double X's here with one, which was the ETH one. And then if we copy this code and then paste, paste that in, press enter. So the 2.4 gigahertz uh, Wi-Fi chip is 44 degrees Celsius. And then let's do the same for the five gigahertz one. So we just copy this um, ethernet query and get that so that's ethernet 2 so if we then go here and put the ethernet number into this string and then take a copy of that and then just paste that into this command line window and that's 47 so fairly simple to do so you can see here the the core cpu is 51 and then the 2.4 gigahertz wi-fi chip is 44 and the five gigahertz Wi-Fi chip is 47. So this information is available, even though it's not av made available in the web GUI interface. So I think this, uh, I think this means what we can do is write a script, I think, uh, to grab these temperatures automatically. Um, so we don't need to do that manually. I'll do that in a separate video. And maybe we can even create a script uh, with an email notification to let you know if these uh, temperatures go above a defined number. Hope that helps. Nice and simple video. I uh, hope you enjoy it. If you do, please consider subscribing and maybe even hitting that notification bell so we see each other in the next video. Take care, everybody.